They go really fast, Lynn. Yes, they do. One of the fastest tempo offenses in all of college football. A young quarterback. He's still pretty young, although he's got a lot of starting experience. Zach Wilson, the junior from Draper, Utah. As BYU has it on offense for the first time officially, and the first delivery is a, a very nice throw for a gain out near the 35-yard line. Dax Milne, who fumbled that punt. Trojans have some talented defensive players, but there is a size mismatch up front, that's for sure. Handoff straight ahead, huge hole. Katoa first down and more still going. First and 15 after the false start penalty. Watson in the shotgun pressured immediately and he goes down. My goodness, just a free run. Kyrus Tonga, who's probably the most talented guy up front, was basically unblocked. Yeah, and how you ignore him is unbelievable. This is a guy that BYU is lucky to have. Secondary for BYU is beat up. They're missing some top line players. But it's not a throw, it's a handoff on third and long and picking his way forward. That's a nice run. Going to come up short by Dell, the true freshman, stopped at about the 33. The Sun Belt earlier this year and now have to have their best team, Oklahoma, go down. That's not good. Yeah, Kansas State lost to a Sun Belt team in their opener. And then they go to Norman. Hey, there's Algier, the guy you've been talking about. What a nice move along the sideline. Cutting it back in and getting all the way inside the 10 down to the 5. A 24-yard gain. It's first and goal. They've moved him over to the running back spot. He was a great running back in high school, but he played defense last year. And I was just stunned on tape this year. Just marching down the field. Go ahead and take your shot here. Katoa the tailback, they give it straight ahead for a touchdown. I think that's the fullback Mason Wake who got the ball and BYU goes for it on fourth and goal. And just barely Mason Wake crosses the goal line for the first points of this game. Fourth down decision. This is not post turnover. This is marching down the field. This is backing up the defense and the, the opponent, the visitor, the underdog. If you don't get it, good call here. Nine, maybe. He was recruited by nobody. He came to Troy as a walk-on and has turned into literally one of the better defensive players, one of the best linebackers in college football. The guy that uh, reminds me and lots of people of Sam Mills, as you see Alger here, man, good full head of steam. So they go for it on fourth down. After they went for it on fourth down, and got the touchdown in the first quarter. Pass fake on first down, going deep down the middle. Open receiver, caught for the touchdown. What a pass and catch, Gunnar Romney. Catch, Wilson doesn't get credit for the touchdown throw, but he does get a run, and he yeah. was down. He yeah, was that down was the right call. The half yard line. Yep, that was the right call, but look at the layout here. You know, and there was a question about how good the BYU receives him a chance to run underneath it. Wow, so they said no touchdown, and Wilson just takes a snap and forces it in. Troy's wondering what the heck just happened. That officially went down as a pass play and a catch for negative five yards. Now negative five plus on the sack. Kyrus Tonga, his second sack of the game already. Really, you can't. You have to make sure you got a couple guys playing him, and to put one guy on him and to ask, you know, Bradshaw to be their leader along the offensive line, he just got abused. Pressure again. Watson goes down. He didn't see it. And I think that's Zach Daw again. A blitz. They're using only three or four to get to him. Look to the right side of your screen. You see Daw come in. Again, it's really only three guys coming in. You've got a linebacker spying a back. So Going to throw on first down. Wilson slings it out. He's got a receiver open and the turn up field by Gunnar Romney. There he goes inside the 30, inside the 20, and dragged down finally inside the 15. And that was an NFL throw. Yeah, that's a nice throw from across the field. That long throw from hash to sideline on the line. Catchable ball for Romney. And Romney's showing you some run after. Watch this throw. He's off, just off the numbers, off that hash. Coming back all the way across the field to the sideline. That's a strong throw. A long way from home to put in some of that work. And it, I think it's paid off. He looks like a different player. Wilson sprinting left, throws end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown. That was a great throw. The tight end, Isaac Rex. Showing you all the various skills. He throws on the move, resets his feet nicely. And a nice drop ball over the defender. The BYU program. 
So Andy and the Chiefs against John Harbaugh and the Ravens on Monday night football third down. That one is a big hitter over the middle and a huge gain for Troy inside the 20 all the way down to the 15. Trey Eford the senior with the catch and run and man did Troy need that for 55 yards. Get a snap before BYU can get set. Now the play is snapped and Smith touchdown. He got in, B.J. Smith with the touchdown rush. Well, was it? I don't know. That looks like B.J. Smith to me, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that looks it like was. Smith, yeah. yeah. And this one's going to be 54 yards. Kick is on the way, and that kick looks great. Man, with distance to spare. So BYU is aggressive that final drive of the half. And it turned into three points, even with that big penalty. Scholarship offer out of high school. Doesn't Crazy. make sense to me. I don't care how tall the kid is. I mean, he's just an amazing player. Wilson with a play fake. Going deep left side. He's got a man wide open, and the catch is made. That's Pau down the sideline. Neil Pau into the end zone. Touchdown. I say Pau, that's Dax Milne. IU is on the board again. Extra point up and good. It's 31-7. to yeah, you see how Wilson looked one way, came back over here to find Milne. And you saw at the very end of Dunlap scrambling to try to get back. Watch him here. He gets the double move. He bites on it big time. And that's an 8 to 10 yard gap. You can't bite on something that hard. You know, it just doesn't work. As a corner, he's too experienced and a veteran player. He's a really good player. He knows better than that going for it here. Fourth and four, Wilson didn't see that pressure, he goes down. So from the side, the pressure came and Troy gets a much needed stop ready Stewart from his defensive back position. Corner blitz, they didn't pick up on it. You see him here lined up over the receiver, eyes on the quarterback and he's gonna take off on the snap. Got another defensive back coming over to take his replacement covery there and no chance at all for Wilson. Never saw it, never heard it, never had a chance. Well, that pressure comes mighty quick, doesn't it? I mean, again, it's not its not a blitz. They're not even, there's no resistance whatsoever. Peyton Wilgar with another play in the backfield. Harley been picked up. He's on the, the right side of the screen coming in. I'm sorry, left side of the screen coming in. But you also had offense and defense to the pros. But you're still talking about LSU talent, and he just carved them up. And they were shorthanded, but DBU was not quite today. Nice run for Katoa for yeah, BYU. You understand how to attack the BYU defense. That has not been the case. Not really been a factor. And Wilson's keeping it. Touchdown, Zach Wilson. His second rushing touchdown of the game. BYU's pouring it on. Troy had no real response there. They were completely to mention the COVID-19 issues. Wilson throws. That pass is perfectly delivered, but it was juggled, and they'll say incomplete. Man, I thought that was just the perfect pass. Gunnar Romney couldn't catch it cleanly. Call. That is an incomplete ball. He did not have control over it. But we've seen every kind of throw from Wilson. I've been on them for their dance moves, but uh, they have uh, had a lot to celebrate and more now as Mason Wake gets his second touchdown of the game. First play of quarter number four. He hadn't had a touchdown in his career until tonight. Or of their first two games of the year, 100 to 10. Wow. Mason Wake. Conference with programs ready to play, not ready to play. So there could be a, a possibility of trying to get Boise State, somebody like that, on the schedule. That pass thrown short, a broken tackle, and a nice gain inside the 20, inside the 15, down to the 10. And sort of H-back type player. Yeah, he, he's getting a chance to touch the ball. He and and uh, Mason Wake both have spent most of their careers doing a lot of blocking, but this game gives them a chance to. I kind of like the symmetry of 100 to 10 combined between the two games. They're going to shatter that here, assuming this one goes in, <laughs> and it does. 103 to 10 doesn't sound the same, does it? <laughs> they weren't sure. We weren't sure. They had a number of guys who weren't expected to play, and they were as dominant tonight as they were in their opener 
against Navy, but they were dominant in a different way with that man, Zach Wilson, really showing his skills and the defense being dominant. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.